Hello everyone. Today we will discuss problem 41 of the 50 challenging problems. The problem is the locomotive problem. Here is the description of the problem. In this problem, a railroad has numbered its locomotives from 1 till n and one day you see a locomotive numbered 60. So now you need to make a guess at how many locomotives does the company has. And in the second part, you have seen five locomotives numbered and the maximum number that you have seen is again 60. So now you again need to make a guess at how many locomotives does the company has. So now let's see the solution to the problem. In this question, we have locomotives hai numbered from 1 till n. Okay, And we have seen a locomotive numbered 60. Then we need to find how many locomotives are there that is we need to find capital N. Now as the question is stated we cannot find the exact answer to this problem but we can do reasonable things to find the estimate to the exact answer. So first method that we will use is the maximum likelihood estimate right. So we need to make an estimate for capital N. Now since we have seen a locomotive which is numbered 60, so we are confirmed that there are at least 60 locomotives. So our maximum likelihood estimate for capital N would be 60 because any number less than 60 would confirm that 60 numbered locomotive does not exist. So our maximum likelihood estimate for N would be 60. Next we can use the symmetry principle for making an estimate to capital N. Now, since we have seen a locomotive numbered 60, so suppose this is the number of locomotives starting from 1 till N. Now we have seen a locomotive numbered 60, so it divides the segment into two equal sizes on an average according to the symmetry principle. So this segment, we have 60 locomotives, and we have six, seen the 60th locomotive. So number of locomotives left over here would be 59. Similarly, number of locomotives left over here would be 59. So our estimate for capital N would be 59 plus 59 plus the 60th locomotive that we have seen. This comes out to be 119. So this would be our estimate for capital N. Now in the second part, it is given that we have seen five locomotives and the highest number that we have seen is 60. So again, seeing the five locomotives divides this segment into six parts, right? First locomotive, second locomotive, third locomotive, fourth locomotive and fifth locomotive. And the highest number that we have seen is 60. So 60 comes over here. So fr from here, till here we have 60 locomotives and we have seen 5 locomotives so 60 minus 5 that is 55 55 should be divided in these 5 segments equally right so in each segment we have 11 locomotives so a segment after 60 would also have 11 locomotives according to the symmetry principle so in total our estimate would be 60 plus 11 locomotives that is 71 so in this case our estimate would be 71 so this is our answer and make sure that this is an average estimate and not the correct answer 